at one hand, wraps the arm, and another hand, you place at the base of the microscope like this. You just carry it like that. Okay? Make sure that it's pointing uh, away from you. The ocular is not pointing towards you. And if let's say that it's on the bench, if it's on the bench, don't drag the microscopes. If you want to uh, change the position of the microscope from one to another, so make sure that you lift it and you change the position. Don't drag. So I'm going to carry this onto my bench. Oh, we start with four times objective lens. So four times. So above the light source. And then another one. Before we start, uh, we're going to make sure that the mechanical stage, this is the mechanical stage. The mechanical stage where you put the slides on the mechanical stage. So uh, these are the not. These are another important parts of the microscope they're going to use. First, the big one, which is known as the cost knob. Okay, try to turn it clockwise and anti-clockwise. What happened? The cost knob. The cost knob. What happens if you turn it anti-clockwise? What's going to happen to the mechanical stage? Huh? Move up. If you turn anti-clockwise, you can see that the mechanical stage moves upwards like this. All right. So if you turn it anti-clockwise, it'll move downwards. Okay. So now, before you start observing anything, make sure that the mechanical stage is at the lowest position. So make sure that you turn it anti-clockwise so you can't turn anymore. So it's at the lowest. And you start with the four times. Yeah. So now, objective lens. There are four altogether objective lens mounted on the revolving turret. Okay, the four objective lens. The mechanical stage. I've introduced to you the mechanical stage that you put the slides onto it with a clip holder. This is a mechanical stage. You, get, you can bring upward and downward mechanical stage. Next, ah, this one. Are very important to ensure that your specimen is at the center. Anything you have to make sure that your specimen is at the center. So how are you going to make sure that? You have to make use of these two types of knob, which is known as the X and Y control, Y and Y stage and X stage control knob over here. Okay, so we have the power points. Okay, Y, Y and X control knob. Can you turn the Y and X? How does it move? How is the movement like? Y? Up, up and down. Ah, up and down. It's like graph, new graph. New X axis, Y axis. Yeah. Y up and down. And then uh, X, left and right. Good. X is left and right. So now, um, I'm taking a uh, look at the uh, IDs. Have you put your letter E there? Okay, uh, how's the image like for letter E, everyone? Inverted. Yeah, should be inverted. Do you get clear image? Yeah. Very good. Hold on. Ready. See what's wrong with yours. Should be at the lowest first. This is four times. Okay, so we use the cost knob. So turn it clockwise slowly. Until the image. You still can't. Until you see can't. You still need to turn it. Ready? Ah, you've got it. 
it's just a little bit more. And that so you see how I do it. Okay, now let's take a look at that city. Can you see that now? You can adjust a bit. So you just have to turn for large again until you get well, until it's clear. Sometimes to get clear in the you just have to turn slightly. Okay, all right. Uh, that's one. Another thing, you have to make sure that the lap technique is at the center. So please adjust. It's at the center of the uh, how, how do you adjust that? Because once you get the clear image, once the lactic E is at the center, you cannot adjust anymore. If I say they want to observe at 10 times, at 10 times, you just have to turn the